Hello section of my playthrough of A Little Nightmare. We managed to finally escape the janitor that only got away. It's been a couple of weeks since I played, uh, so I'm going to have to take a moment to refamiliarize myself with... Hey, Drew. Hope you're ready for this. I'm ready to get spooked again. I think we're going to jump back in. Hopefully it's going to... Hopefully we'll pick back up right where we left off. Uh, I haven't checked, so... We will find out. And aside from... I remember there being some... Uh, some things that were moving on hooks where we, where we quit playing last time. I can't remember exactly where we stopped, but I know we had finally escaped the horrifying janitor, so... At least we don't have to deal with him anymore, or so I hope. But we shall find out. I should also mention that I have a cold at the moment, so I apologize if I have to cough now and then. I'll try to mute myself before I do. But we shall see here. Here's little six. Alright, so we got our jump button. I think this is our... Oh. Maybe that's to run. Let's see. That's to do... Okay, there's the lighter. There's jump. That's crouch. Okay. Well, let's just... Let's just get to it here. And see how we do. Oh. Already I'm... <laughs> it's taking me a minute to get readjusted to the controls. So yeah, this is this is where I stopped playing last time. Let me take a quick look around here. So this game definitely reminds me of Inside, and I heard today uh, that I believe Inside is coming to the Nintendo Switch, which has me very excited. Uh, kind of any game I can play on the Switch, I love to play on the Switch, and Inside's one of my favorites from last year. So. Um, so yeah, at some point I'll probably stream inside. Uh, I'll play it on the PS4 when I do stream it. But uh, I feel like that's a good one I can get through in a, just a session or two. Um, but not just now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to ride one of these hooks. Let me see if I can grab one to one of these big slabs here. Wait, come back! Okay, maybe I'm supposed to grab a hold of a hook without a slab. Alright. Here we go. bodies oh no I'm getting hungry again maybe I should just eat one of these slabs of whatever that just got hauled over here or maybe I should wander in right into another trap oh gosh I just heard a sound Sorry, little animal. Boy, six. She's hungry. She shows no mercy. Okay. I feel sort of bad about that. But... I suppose it had to be done or else the game wouldn't progress. Let's take a quick look around. Yeah, I know, geez Louise is right. So there's a trap over here. I hate to step on it though and get myself all hurt, so I don't think I'm going to. So I guess I'll just keep moving.
wondering if I have to push this thing over. Yep. Wait a minute. definitely have to knock this thing over, but just pushing on it didn't seem to do the trick. Oh, there we go. This had to be a little bit more persistent, I guess. Oh, so what horrifying nightmares await me in this part of the game. I'm going to play through one more section. That might be all I play tonight since I'm a little under the weather. Oh gosh. Oh man. This doesn't look like a good place to go. Hey Dustin. Welcome to the stream. How are the two of you doing tonight? So we're on the threshold of a bloody door, Dustin. Uh, I really... <laughs> I'm not sure I've got all night. I'm feeling a little sick. I have to occasionally move up my microphone to, uh, so I'm not coughing directly into the mic. But I don't want to know what's through here, honestly. Oh god. It's just a cart. Let's follow it back when it goes back. Hey, it's just a cold. Uh, Becky was sick. Uh, that's my wife. <laughs> in case anybody listens to this later, uh, was sick this week, and I think I just picked it up. So, all right. So it looks like I'm going to have to go through here. I turned the cart, so it shouldn't rock. You know, I, I just from the trailers for this game, I know. Okay, I gotta say, I know a particular character, much like the creepy janitor who is in this game, or at least I've seen an image. Oh gosh, I should have stayed. And I'm just terrified that that's what I'm going to encounter here. Anything that looks like a kitchen scares me uh, more than anything else because I feel like I know what's coming to an extent. Oh gosh. Okay, where am I going to hide? I'm going to go under that shelf maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm a little bit more grizzled than usual, huh? Okay, there's somebody sharpening a knife in the next room, and I don't like it at all. Sometimes, uh, to stop myself from being scared, the best thing to do is just rush right into danger and get it over with. And once I've once I've been killed, it's not as big of a deal. Okay, wait a minute, I can move this, right? I know, yeah, I know that I definitely have vibes of the night kitchen. Now, I'm a defender of the book in the night kitchen. I know others find it creepy, but. Just the presence of this dude right here is enough to make me <laughs> question my uh, take on that particular book, because I don't think I'm ready for this guy. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. Let's just hide. Look at that face. Stay hidden. Oh, those giant fish heads are creepy too. Oh man. Okay, I see another uh, cabinet under there. Over there, I could get under. Oh, he smells me too. Do all do all these guys have like this horrible sense of smell? guys are going to have to be with me, because I'm about to get spooked by this tonight, I'm sure. Okay, he's working on his pots over here, so I'm going to assume that I'm supposed to keep moving. Oh. 
Oh, there's one of those little guys. Sorry, little guy. Um, I have other things to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know that I would want to hang out in the maw uh, if I were a, a little girl in a raincoat either. But the problem is, she wakes up in the basement of the maw, and so her only real objective is just to get out of it, I think. Okay, I'm going to hide under here. And just pray this guy doesn't come grab me. Alright, you get whatever you're going to get out of the cabinet and then move away, sir. I don't know. So he's going to stay right here. How long are you going to season that fish head? Probably long enough that I have to... Uh, he's got me. Oh, gosh. Well... So here's the worst of it, as we can see. Oh gosh. So, I've been stuffed into a fish, uh, much like a tauntaun. Maybe he's just keeping me warm in there, I don't know. Alright, so i got to start all the way back here. That's fine. Because I was able to make it pretty far without much problem. hide here. Next time maybe I will wait a little bit longer to see if he actually moves away from that workstation. Yep. Put whatever that is in the pot. Go back to your work so I can go to my next area. Oh, get under there. Get under there, Six. I don't want to hear that sound from him again. Alright, move on. You've got other pots to tend to, apparently. Yep. What if I just ran right up here? Do you think that's a option. Now, chances are he's going to come up here and catch me, right? Oh, wait a minute. Can I climb up this? Okay, try not to knock those bottles over. He does have a nice kitchen. And I'm, I bet if I would have stayed down there, I could have caught that little... Uh, what are those guys called? Somebody remind me. Gnomes, that's right, but it's spelled differently. Um, but I'm not super concerned about getting every collectible in this playthrough. I'm more concerned with just finishing the game. So... Oh, shoot. Apparently that was enough to kill me. Uh, that's the only thing that I... I maybe like a little bit less about this game than Inside is that there's some issues with the depth I feel like sometimes where I have a... Th oh, thanks. Um, I have a little bit of trouble uh, navigating the depth and I fall off of things because I'm either more forward or back than I thought that I was because I can't really control the angle of the camera, just how far to the right or left it is. So, I'm going to go very slowly here. Okay. I'm going to go back this... Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're not a fan of fall damage. In this case, I am almost okay with it because it'll start me back on top of those shelves. And if I'm on top of the shelves, it's a little bit... I get back to where I need to be a little bit more quickly. Um, I just hope I don't keep falling off over and over and over again. So while I'm trying to do this little uh, act, this little tightrope act, uh, have either of you guys been playing anything lately? Now, I wonder, maybe I should carry this with me. What if I can use this as a diversion? Whoa, I think I almost fell off again. I'm going to 
gonna bring this with me and set it down over here. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. Oh, so you're still working hard in Animal Crossing, huh, Dustin? As the assistant mayor. Oh, he heard a sound because I set down that pot. Oh gosh. Uh oh, he's curious now. Oh, so Moon Hunters and Lifeline. Hope you're enjoying those, Drew. Sim City on the Kindle, that sounds fun. Oh, good, good, I needed to go to the bathroom. Okay, I've got the soap. Not sure. I'm gonna take this soap with me. I don't know what it, good it's gonna do me. Oh, shoot, that looks like an eyeball up there. I hope. Hope that's not one of those eyes that I need to avoid. Oh, hey! Hey, come back here, little guy. Okay, I hear someone snoring. I don't like this. Oh yeah, is there anything particular you want to get on the Humble Bundle sale, Dustin? So let's see... Okay, so I think I need to climb up here. Right? Keep going. I don't even know exactly what that was that just woke up. Oh gosh. I Oh, and of course I just can't quite see it. So let's see, there's, I don't see that shelf getting me anywhere, so I think I would have to go back. I I posted a couple of weeks ago, this was before The Witcher officially got selected, but it was only $1.49 in Steam, so I really wish I would have, um, I know I posted uh, somewhere in the level 1 group about that. Um, uh oh. <coughs> But I wish I would have made more of a point of making sure everybody had seen that you could get the Witcher for... Um, a buck forty-nine. But, at any rate, I've been playing a lot of the Witcher. Um, I've, I've honestly probably put about 30 hours into it. Uh, which is a lot. Uh, considering that I'm still only on Chapter 2, but then again, I grind an obsessive amount, and I do every possible side quest. So, um, so yeah, there's that. I, I probably should be a lot further than I am now, but I like to really take my time with these games. Okay. So I'm a little confused as to where to go now. Oh, you know what? Maybe I just had to wake this guy up. And because there's that door with the eyeball back through here, so maybe I'm supposed to go back through here now, you think? I'm not sure what else to do, honestly. There's probably something that I missed. Let's keep looking in here. Maybe I was supposed to... Oh, Tristan wants to get into Destiny, huh? Yeah, Destiny's a big thing. I just, I know I don't have the time for something of that magnitude. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, okay, so there's some fall damage for me. Alright, so back in the bathroom. Came in here. Oh, you know what? So here's this thing. So all right. So where are we going? 
And should I have gone back in and woke that other guy up again? Oh, wait a minute. So, oh shoot, we're back down here now. Okay, great. So, and I probably don't have a way to ride this back up, do I? Without... Oh, okay, awesome. Alright. Okay, so... What do I have to do is a good question. Maybe, okay, let's go wake this guy up. I don't know where exactly he's going to go. Climb, climb, climb. He's going to turn the light on. So there is another chef then, right? Okay, so I survived the jump onto the bed. Did he go into the bathroom? Is that where he went? Should I not be looking? Maybe I should go back down here now? Man, I really just don't know. I guess I gotta figure this out, huh? It's like a spooky puzzle. Yeah, I know that painting was pretty spooky. Do I need to go back through there? Or should I be going back up here? Hmm. This is a tough one. And I'll also, look at that utensil just sort of hovering there in the air. I have to wonder if that's intentional or not. That's got to be a, a bug or something, right? So sneaky. So yeah, while I try to remain calm, uh, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of the original Witcher. Uh, I haven't played any of those games before. You're right, I don't like those sounds either. Um, and I have to say, I really, really like the, uh, the Witcher. Um, I've been enjoying reading the books and playing the game. I'm excited to play the tabletop game. So it's, it's kind of a franchise that I'm, I'm glad there was finally a reason to force me to check it out because it's something I probably just would have kept ignoring because I didn't think I had time. Boy, this guy should see a doctor. That cough is not good. So he doesn't actually take anything, he just sort of goes back and forth and shifts things around. So I'm not sure what I accomplished by waking the other guy up, except that... Okay, so I think when he goes and checks that oven, I have to make a break for it. I'm going to have less of a window than I had before. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to mute my mic before I had a cough there. Also, I apologize because I'm sure there are plenty of gamers who are just who would just fly through this world. I, I have to stop and watch everything and look at every little detail, and I get so distracted by looking at all the details that I forget that I'm actually supposed to be trying to accomplish something. Oh, keep going! Six, don't stop! So, uh oh, here he comes. So 
apparently he can't see me up here. Now there's a... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a padlock on this door, so... It seems what I need to do is find the key, right? So I have to get to that door with the key. If I'm thinking correctly. So now it's just a matter of finding the key, which I probably overlooked upstairs, so... You guys help me keep an eye out for a key. I think that's what I'm supposed to do, right? I guess I never tried opening that door without a key, but I'm pretty sure that giant padlock means I should have a key. There was a green trail going into one of those crates. Down here on this floor or upstairs somewhere? Try to keep an eye out for a crate with uh, a green trail going into it when I come back down because I'm sure I've got to go through that door at the end. Get away from this wheezy baker. Alright, let's go back through here. Okay, so I want. Okay, so this guy gets out of bed and comes in here. So, alright, here's my new working theory. I have to wake this guy up. He comes in, uses the bathroom. While he's using the bathroom, I have to steal his key and get into the elevator, right? Does that sound like a plausible theory? Oh, I, <laughs> I, I might have missed the shark, but I like the Bruce reference there. That's pretty good. All right, so that's my working theory now, is this guy in the bed has the key. I got to wake him up. Oh, of course, he's gone now, though, so... If he's gone, then where's the key? Oh yeah, <laughs> I just noticed the twin beds. So yeah, it is definitely two brother cooks just trying to do their do their thing, make their way in the culinary world, not be bothered by nosy little girls. So, hmm, do I need to turn the light back off, maybe? That would seem odd. But... Oh. <laughs> You're right, we'd have our beds side by side. Oh, I got a trophy, highly sprung. I must have jumped on a bed enough times, I guess? I haven't tried to open this door yet. And apparently I can't. I'm just wondering, though... Because there was definitely a second cook that... Oh, wait a minute. Before I do anything else... I gotta light this candle. Alright, we're gonna figure this out. Oh gosh, I you were so right, I just now realized how did the how did the twin toilets not click with me until now? That is so creepy. So where'd this other brother go? He must have the key. He's got to have it, right? I don't see anything else in this room. I think if it was up on one of those shelves... Well, let me take... Just for my own peace of mind, let me look up on the shelves one last time. Make sure that I don't have to come back up here again. So... 
so. Come on, what's the button I push? There we go. I feel bad breaking all of these brothers' possessions, trying to find a key. I mean, no wonder they're mad at me, right? Alright, so... I think I have to go back downstairs. I wonder if, if I'm supposed to lure one of the brothers into the elevator? I've only seen... Ever since the one got out of bed, though, I haven't even seen him. I have to assume he went down the elevator. Let's go back over here. can't climb up here. I don't know what it would accomplish to have the other guy chase me into the elevator. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to... He's not coming back in here just yet. Here he comes. Everyone keep your eyes peeled for a key. I'm going to look for that crate that Dustin was talking about. Oh, I didn't like that sound. Okay, he's moving on. No, I gotta be missing something, guys. It's possible. Maybe if I wait over there far enough, he'll open up the lock. Alright, he's gotta reposition his meats on the shelf. Not actually take any of them, but make sure they're all in the right place. Alright. As soon as he gets back over there, we'll keep moving. Are you talking about these green tiles that went underneath here? Or am I just blind? Oh, I passed it. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can get back over here without alerting him. Okay, I'm looking around. Further back? Toward the front. So, the front of the kitchen this way? Hmm. I must just not be understanding. Oh, toward us? So, uh, line up this way? One of these crates here, is that what you're talking about? Hmm. I could I could jump up there and try to take that knife. I wonder if I could do that. Let's see. Hey Mel, how are you? Uh oh. 
though. I hear him coming. So, Mel, you're just in time to see me fumble my way through the game and not really know what I'm doing. The only green I can really see is the tiles. Um, so let's see, so maybe I can go up here now and maybe I have to try this first. Man, I, f I feel dumb for not seeing the trail you're talking about go going into a crate. The shelf? You mean climbing up over here? Yeah, I went up here once already. Um, um, I've definitely come up here uh, and gone up to the bedroom up above. Uh, I think I have to find a key somewhere? And I just seem to be at a loss for where it actually is. I woke up a second brother and he left the room but I have not seen him since. And I'm really not sure what the deal is. I'm gonna throw this and see what happens. <laughs> Which white jar? Oh, the white jar back there on that shelf? I'll, if I end up back there, I'll try it. Uh, let's see what happens if he, when he comes over here now. If he's just going to investigate and leave. Yeah, that's all that's going to happen. Okay, I'll go break that white jar. I don't think anything's going to happen when I do. <laughs> but, you know, at this point I'm ready to explore any option. I was sort of wondering if I can drop anything in the food from up here, if that would do anything. Like, is there some way I can force him to get into that pantry because he needs something out of it? You think, maybe? Also, I don't suppose there's anything over here, but let's look just in case. Doesn't appear to be. Oh. Yeah, just a jar. So, now I'm sort of wondering if I can drop something into a pot from up here. I don't know that that would actually do anything. But, I'm running out of ideas here, fellas. Oh gosh, you need to... Get that cough checked out, dude. Let's see what happens if I drop something in this pot. Okay, I just dropped a fish in the pot. It's gonna have some, some fishy stew now. Okay, surely there's something... Okay, let's all take another good look upstairs. There's got to be something we're missing up here. Or actually, can I get on those beams there? Would those go anywhere, you think? Or is that just a waste of time? I don't... No, I'm not going to be able to go anywhere on those. Yeah, I don't think anything happens with that pot either. I honestly... I have to find a key somewhere is the thing. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, little guy. 
There you go. I gave you a hug. Thanks for the hug. Alright. Let's see if by any chance this brother is back asleep yet. Probably not, because the light is still on in here. Maybe I have to turn this light back off. That's what I'm trying to do. I, if, I think maybe if I turn the light back off, he'll go back to sleep, but I can't quite grab that light switch. I don't know if I'm... I'll try a couple more times to jump off that shelf to grab it. I keep missing. Um, again, it might just be because I'm not very good at jumping. When you come in the room, you see a key on the key hanger. Well, let's look for this key hanger, because so far, I haven't seen it. Oh, but, did it, so, did the other brother take it with him? So I'm, oh! Oh! Okay. So that's a key there, right? So, let's see. Is there a way to get that key? Let's find out. And we just got a swing now. Oh, thanks, Mel. Somehow it just didn't even click with me. After all that, that I was looking at a key. Man, that's got to be a frustrating live stream for <laughs> anybody who watches this after the fact. Watch me uh, fumble around for 20 minutes just trying to find the key that was right there the whole time. All right, let's hurry up and hide under this bed again because I just have a bad feeling this other brother is going to come back at a bad time. Yeah, I appreciate that, Mel. I might have been fumbling my way around for another 15 minutes just trying to spot that thing. Okay, so... Alright, so now... Alright, we have to... It makes me uncomfortable that I still don't know where this other brother is. I was expecting him to come up in the lift that time. Would have been horrifying, let me tell you. Oh, see, there's another one of those little gnome guys. I want to get that gnome. Oh. Oh, hold on. I just heard a scary sound. Please don't pick up the key that I just dropped there. <gasps> oh no. He's gonna grab that key, isn't he? Leave that key right where it's at. Okay. <laughs> That's a good question, Sailor Wink Streamer. Uh, if, if, if you're not watching this game for the first time, uh, be prepared for me to not do uh, super well at it because <laughs> okay now now that I've picked you up let me get back under here because um, I really I haven't I don't know anything about where I'm going I'm just sort of fumbling my way through oh gosh he just kicked the key please tell me he didn't pick it up all right Yep, I freed the gnome and gave it a hug. I love those little guys. Alright, I'm grabbing this key. I don't want to be without it. It's my ticket out of here. So now I have to sneak all the way back through. And I'm slower when I'm carrying something, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, you're right, Dustin. Uh, I mostly stream at midnight at the witching hour uh, because it's sort of uh, when I feel like I can stream without <laughs> basically taking the evening away from spending it with my wife. Um, and for some reason, it just sort of makes sense for me to s stream some semi-spooky games. Although, I have to admit, I'm not like a... I've never been like a huge fan of horror-themed games, so I don't know why lately I've been on a little bit of a kick where I've been playing a lot of these. I think there's just a lot of good ones recently. Um, so, yeah, for me, I played the demo of Resident Evil 7 for an hour. I played all the way through it, and that was horrifying to me. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a, a big baby when it comes to spooky games. Uh, this is enough, like, inside or something that um, I still enjoy. Oh, he's got to adjust his meats on the shelf. But I do uh, plan to, uh, st in sticking with this Witching Hour theme for Midnight live streams. I do plan to uh, play some other uh, games of a spookier nature. Uh, I've got Until Dawn I've been meaning to check out. Oh, so... Alright, so I... Yeah, he's gonna... She goes much slower with the key in hand. So... Oh, Biohazard is spooky? Oh, hold on. The music picked up for a moment there, so I was a little worried that maybe he was coming over to investigate. But that's probably where I'll find the other cook. Oh, no, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, why don't Oh, why did I say Oh, thanks for the subs thanks for the sub, Mel. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting started here. I haven't really... I've streamed a few games. Uh, last uh, weekend, I streamed Night Trap. Uh, so thanks for you guys for... Uh, <laughs> th thanks to the, you guys who uh, watched me play through Night Trap last weekend. That was a lot of fun. I was glad that I was able to tackle it and even get a perfect playthrough. I felt pretty good about that afterwards. So, oh, I shouldn't be making small talk right now. I'm a little too sp spooked, but I guess maybe it helps me a little bit. Oh man, someone's going to throw me in that meat grinder, aren't they? Sausages? Sausages are good. So, so yeah, anyways, I've got Until Dawn waiting to play. Um, okay, now what happens? Oh, so now I have to turn the crank, right? Oh, I'm going to have to do this a few times, aren't I? Let's hope nobody comes in. I have to make some links here so I can swing on them. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. Oh, so I only... I have to throw the rest in myself? Or what? Hmm. <laughs> Funnily enough, I used to work in a meat department for one summer. That was that was uh, something I did for a summer uh, between years of college, and something I do not plan to ever do again. All right, so let's see here. What's this?
Well, surely I can't get enough of these sausages in the actual meat grinder from down below. For some reason, I can't even seem to pick up this sausage. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying now, Mel. Thank you. All right. It's nice to have these tips in the chat. I think I would get get this stuff figured out eventually, but oh. <laughs> and then again, I may be on the totally wrong track here. Yeah, I don't think I can quite get that in there, can I? Yep, once again, I get to fumble through all of this. So that opens up the trap door. I need more sausages to fall in. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, never mind. Now I see. Boy, that was pretty obvious to everybody but me, wasn't it? Okay. So, we have to put some more meat in the grinder. Boy, it's cold in here. I don't want to... I certainly don't want to uh, go down through the trap door. I got these furnaces. Oh, here's one of these dolls. is in there. Now don't give me any spoilers that are too big. Because if, I, if I'm going to be spooked, I need to be organically spooked. Oh no, look at that little gnome up there. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, you're fine, Mel. I do appreciate the help you've been giving me. <laughs> Especially when I get stuck on a puzzle. Alright. So, okay, so now we've done that. Let's see if we can find a way back down. That doesn't involve falling into the meat grinder. Oh, I probably just ride this back down, right? That's probably all I do. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's that's spooky. I know he's around here somewhere. I know I'm gonna run into that second cook. I'm just trying not to think about him so that when the moment comes I'll be startled and surprised. Alright, so now this meat's gonna fall in here. Alright. Time to make the sausage. Really? Just one more? That's not going to be enough. Yep, time for more meat. Let's go back up, see what else we can find. Okay, so... Let's climb up this shelf here. Do I have to... Hmm, let's try this. Oh! I could have grabbed that hook. We're going to do this. I don't know that this is going to 
It's hard to get momentum on this hook. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm trying to... There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I had it. Let's see if I can... Got it, got it, there we go. <laughs> I guess I probably can go in this because it's it's not gonna fall unless that lever gets pulled. Come on. I need you on the trapdoor. There we go. Thanks, Mel. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I'll get there eventually. I know that other cook is going to bust out at a spooky moment and make me run really fast. Which I do not look forward to. Yep, that was my plan. Get these sausages down far enough that I could swing on them. Kobe! Proceed. I'm sure we haven't seen the last of those brothers. Kobe beef, that's right. Uh oh. And I'm gonna have to use it, I'm sure. They wouldn't give me that box if there wasn't a need for it. I have a feeling this other brother is the really scary one. He supplies the meat and the other brother cooks it up. Oh gosh, another lock. So, here's the thing to pull. I have a feeling this is going to be spooky when I pull it. I'm getting out of here. Just in case. Somehow I knew that was going to happen. I just knew they gave me a little crate over here because that would happen. What are you looking for? So, I'm wondering if I have to run for that elevator. <laughs> you might be right there, brother. Perhaps we have missed our calling in life. Alright, I'm going to try to take this elevator while he, his attention is diverted. Get me out of here, quick! Oh, no, go! I have a feeling he's coming. comes. He's wondering what just happened. Yeah, this game is a little too detailed, really. <laughs> okay, so now... That one is too high for me to re-grab. Oh gosh. Look at him chop that meat. You can tell that this is real passion in life. 
Let's just let's just watch him for a minute. Yeah, I have a feel. I had a feel. Oh yeah, I see the key up there. It's on the table. It's okay, Dustin. We're all in this together. We're gonna make it. Oh gosh, reaching up under his skin to scratch his face. That's horrifying. Okay, so let's see. Am I under? I can't see if I'm underneath something here or not. So I'm gonna guess that I am. We're gonna try to go around here. <coughs> I'm gonna hope that I can get him away. I've got to get that key. So, all right. So, my theory now is I have to go into this next room and distract him. Come back through that little hole, grab the key, get to the lock before he catches me. So, my plan for tonight, guys, is to basically make it through this section of the game and if I manage that I will call it quits for the stream um, that because that'll feel like a good stopping point last time I had to thwart the janitor this time I have to get away from the creepy nightmare brother cooks all right so there's a chair I can hide under here I see that button I, sh I need to push but Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to push the button, run through the little hole in the wall. Oh, I wasn't quite ready for that. Oh. Oh. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's downstairs. Crap. As soon as this elevator goes, he's going to know it. Oh, my heart is pounding. I'm not even joking. I only have a minute. Oh, gosh. Quick. Find a place to hide. Can I get under here? Yes. Oh, thank God. My heart is legit pounding, guys. Whew. Go away, brother. Go back and cut your meat. No, don't go. F that, don't go the way I need to go. Yeah, my heart is still beating really fast. So I don't think I can reach that doorknob. I wonder if I can pull on this little vent here, or if I just need to wait for him to come back out. But I'm pretty sure that he's just going to go in ahead of me so that he's there to thwart my plans. Oh gosh. I'm in the trash compactor. Let's hope there's not one of those creatures from A New Hope in here. I see a plunger. I don't seem to be able to grab the plunger. But there's got to be something I can do in here, so... Apparently it's not climbing up here. I f oh, <laughs> yeah, I meant to break that collectible. That's what I was going for. So I feel like there's got to be something with this plunger thing here, right? But for some reason it won't let me grab it, so maybe not. Let's see if I can just find a place to climb that actually gets me somewhere. Oh, right here. Alright. Oh boy. Boy, they have a lot of plungers, well, I guess when you're two brothers with side-by-side -side toilets, a need for plungers is inevitable. Oh, look, the two brothers are together. Isn't that sweet? So we're just going to keep moving here. Of course, my path has to be blocked, so I have to go up here. 
gonna try to just go up right here and get underneath this thing. I don't seem to be able to stand or jump for some reason. It looked like... So, apparently I, those aren't openings I can go through. <laughs> oh, okay, this one I can. Oh boy, we gotta run for it, guys. Even peeked under here. Thankfully, didn't see me. Yeah, that stack's not getting any shorter, guys. Oh, thanks for joining us, Mel. Sorry I didn't make it all the way through the section in the time you were here. But uh, basically, every Friday or Saturday night, I'm not sure if it's consistently going to be Friday or Saturday, at midnight, I'm planning to stream a bit of a game. So far I've done uh, Little Nightmares and Night Trap. Uh, I, I've already finished Night Trap and I managed a perfect playthrough last week so you can check that out if you want to. Um, once I finish up Little Nightmares, which will probably be in another session or two after this I would guess, um, then I will start something else. So if you guys, if you guys have any preference for what you would like me to play next, I'd love to hear it. So far I can mainly stream on... Uh oh, hide. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know that Hello Kitty meets my theme so much, Dustin. So what did that do when I pulled that lever? Once, once I can figure out how to stream on Nintendo platforms, I will change my channel from the witching hour to the switching hour. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for the time being, PS4 is the easiest place for me to stream. So yeah, I didn't quite see what happened when I pulled on this. Um, Do this again. So that makes the hooks go. But I have to get up there somehow, right? the hooks, could I? Maybe I can get up there and I just haven't been looking diligently enough. Alright. So it still seems to be switched on. Let's see if I can get up there somehow. Maybe on top of these dishes. back into the uh, I'm wondering if I'm going to have to go back into the main room to find a way up there I'd say there's a good chance that's the case climb up that big stack of dishes there you think
Surely not. Oh gosh, the hook goes right past that, doesn't it? I wish I could move this camera further. Yep, so I gotta climb that stack of dishes and grab onto a hook. So that means how am I going to distract these guys? Yeah, okay, so this guy's going over here, so that buys me a little bit of time from him, but where's the other brother at? I don't know, and I don't think I can reach this either. Can I? Oh gosh. Go, quick, 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 quick. Come on, hook. Oh, he's signaling. He's signaling. They know where I'm at. He's waiting for me. Drop. Go. Oh god. Oh, okay, so... So we made it that far, but I gotta get to that table. I'll get there. Gosh, my heart should not be pounding this much, guys. Okay. Keep going. Oh, gosh. I had it. I had it. Whew. And I let go of the button. <laughs> Please don't stream a heart attack. Well, I'm okay. I'm not quite that in that serious of condition. All right, so yeah, so I definitely do have to go under the table, don't I? So I screwed that up for sure. I just was curious if I could go around. Okay, got it. Sorry, bros. Not gonna catch me this time. If this is the end of a chapter, guys, then that's the end of my stream for the night. I got a little over an hour. Let's see if I get a notification. There we go. Trophy earned for the kitchen. So that's where I'm going to stop tonight, guys. So you got a little bit over an hour out of me. I had a lot of fun with that. I just know that if I keep playing, we're going to be talking another hour for me to get rid of these cooks. <laughs> Much like we got rid of the janitor. But the next time we play, we will definitely... Uh, if there's a way to take down these creepy brothers, that's what we'll do. Thanks, thanks, Dustin. I'm glad you were, you're here. I hate to keep spacing this out an hour at a time each week. But uh, maybe I can sneak in another uh, midnight stream here on some other weeknight or something. But uh, thanks, Mel. I'm glad you hung out with me. Glad you helped me with a few places that I needed to puzzle through. Uh, at the very latest, I will be back either midnight next Friday or Saturday to do the next section of this game until we're through with it. Uh, it's not a super long game, so it shouldn't be too many more sessions uh, to make it all the way through. Uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to stream next. Um, but I think that's it for the night. Uh, thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me. Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.